Out there in the significant murkiness of space, the James Webb Space Telescope has been investigating the dark for answers about the universe. It's NASA's new eye above and has been catching dazzling pictures of stars, inestimable frameworks, and planets. Anyway, by and by, something unexpected has been found. Something so huge it could shake the very backbones of all that we know. It has specialists scratching their heads and thinking about whether it could lead to the furthest limit of everything. Join us as we research how the most recent discovery of the James Webb Space Telescope could destroy the universe. When we examine the edge of the universe, it is the detectable beginning point. The detectable universe resembles a window through which we can explore the vastness beyond. The detectable universe includes all that we can currently recognize, measure, and investigate using our telescopes and space tests. It's a collection of stars, galaxies, and celestial bodies within our scope of insight. However, the perceptible universe is simply a small part of the entire universe. Imagine it as a small slice of an enormous, boundless pie that we're able to study and comprehend. While the aggregate size and shape of the universe at large remain a mystery, scientists estimate the width of our recognizable bubble to be around 93 billion light years. A light year measures the distance that light, the fastest thing in the universe, travels in one year, around 588 trillion miles or 900 trillion kilometers. So, when we talk about the breadth of the detectable universe being 93 billion light years, we're discussing a gigantic range. Around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe burst into existence in an incomprehensibly powerful explosion. This blast started what we call the cosmic expansion. Since that earth-shattering birth, the universe hasn't just been expanding. It's been accelerating in its expansion. Mysterious forces like the astounding dark energy seem to be driving this acceleration, pushing the boundaries of the universe farther and farther apart. As the universe expanded, matter began to clump together under the influence of gravity. This gravitational force joined particles birthing stunning structures, stars, galaxies, and, eventually, planets like our own dear Earth. Picture the universe passing by as these inestimable structures formed, developing into the different and staggering phenomena we see scattered across the universe today. No matter what its colossal size, the universe is incredibly empty. If we were to shrink down our entire solar system to the size of a quarter, the nearest star would still be about the length of two soccer fields away. This vastness extends just within our own Milky Way galaxy, which is only one among billions in the visible universe, giving us a sense of the sheer size of space. Now, you may ask why we can't simply see all that exists in the universe. There are a few explanations for this limitation. Most importantly, light, the fastest thing in the universe, still takes time to travel through space. This means that when we look at distant objects, we're essentially looking into the past. The farther an object is, the more its light has traveled to reach us. It's like looking through an endless time machine, stretching back through the history of our universe. As we observe galaxies millions or even billions of light years away, the universe is expanding. Imagine spots on the surface of a balloon, when the balloon inflates, the spots move farther apart. This same principle applies to the universe. Galaxies, like those dots, are floating apart as the fabric of space stretches. This expansion causes the light emitted from distant objects to undergo a shift known as redshift. Essentially, the wavelengths of light stretch as the objects move away, shifting toward longer wavelengths, often seen as a reddish hue. Given these factors, light's travel time, the expansion of space, and the universe's ongoing expansion, it's not surprising that we haven't yet fully observed the entirety of the universe. Indeed, even with our highly advanced telescopes and technology, our view remains limited by these fundamental properties of the universe. The quest to understand the possible edge or boundaries of the universe has captivated the minds of countless individuals across disciplines. While definitive answers remain elusive, Three prominent theories have emerged, each offering intriguing perspectives on the vastness of cosmic space. The first theory proposes that the universe extends endlessly, without a perceptible boundary. This idea aligns with the cosmological principle, which asserts the isotropy of the universe, its uniformity in appearance from any vantage point. If this principle holds, it suggests that the universe lacks any true edge, 
expanding infinitely in all directions. The second theory offers an alternative view, suggesting that while the universe may indeed be limited, it lacks a clear boundary. Instead, it is like a giant sphere or curved space connected to itself much like the Earth. In this scenario, if one were to travel endlessly in any direction, they would eventually return to their starting point, much like circumnavigating the Earth. The third theory, the multiverse hypothesis, presents a fascinating idea that our universe is just one among many others. Imagine countless parallel universes, each with its own set of physical laws, constants, and properties. These universes might be completely isolated from each other, functioning independently, or they could be interconnected through complex mechanisms, forming a vast and intricate multiverse. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as a beacon of potential, illuminating the secrets that lie hidden in the great expanse of the universe. This remarkable instrument has unparalleled capability to unravel the mysterious past of our universe, allowing us to peer far beyond what was previously possible. The JWST is a technological marvel designed specifically to observe the universe with extraordinary precision. Its advanced capabilities extend our vision to the earliest moments of the universe. Recently, a pivotal report published in the prestigious journal Nature revealed the JWST's discovery of six enormous galaxies dating back between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. Astonishingly, these ancient galaxies are far larger than expected for their early existence, challenging conventional views on galaxy formation and evolution in the newborn universe. What is truly remarkable about these findings is the level of development of these ancient galaxies. Defying expectations, these cosmic giants exhibit a level of complexity comparable to our 13-billion-year-old Milky Way galaxy. The sheer number of stars within these infinite behemoths surpasses comprehension, with some boasting a total mass several times greater than our Sun. Notably, one of these galaxies may even have a mass up to 100 billion times that of our Sun, overshadowing the already immense size of our Milky Way. The JWST's unparalleled ability to observe the universe's hidden domains is due to its use of infrared light, an invisible spectrum to the naked eye. This incredible power allows the telescope to capture the faint glow of ancient stars and galaxies, revealing remnants that have persisted for billions of years. Essentially, the JWST acts as a time machine, taking our vision back through the ages and providing a unique glimpse into the universe as it appeared roughly 13.5 billion years ago. The ongoing discovery of massive galaxies, lovingly nicknamed universe breakers, has overturned our understanding. It's almost like rewriting history, a staggering twist that challenges most of the models we had made for early galaxies. Initially, we thought galaxies formed from humble beginnings, starting as small clusters of stars and dust. They were believed to gradually grow, increasing in size and complexity over time. However, the universe breakers have shattered these ideas, as the JWST data, along with its high-resolution images, have revealed these monumental structures. These cosmic giants appeared seemingly out of nowhere, defying our previous understanding of cosmic evolution. Digging deeper, scientists employed spectroscopic techniques to analyze light across different frequencies. This analysis holds the key to unlocking critical information about these mysterious galaxies. Details such as their structure, size, and distance from Earth. It's like a massive detective story, using light as clues to unravel the mysteries of these enormous entities. The astonishing discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope have pushed our understanding of the universe to remarkable levels. This cutting-edge telescope, developed by an international team of space experts, has recently revealed an extraordinary discovery, the identification of the oldest and most distant galaxies ever observed. These galaxies transport us back to a time when the universe was only a fraction of its current age, existing just a short time after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope, out in the great murkiness of space, has been searching for answers about the universe. It's NASA's latest spacecraft, capturing stunning pictures of stars, galaxies, and planets. Recently, it made a discovery so significant that it could change how we understand the very fabric of the universe, leaving scientists baffled and curious about its potential implications. When we investigate the universe, we begin with the detectable universe, 
a window into the immense field. Beyond this perceptible universe lies everything we can currently relate to through our telescopes and space probes, including stars, galaxies, and other celestial bodies. However, it's just a tiny portion of the entire universe. Scientists estimate the diameter of our visible universe to be around 93 billion light years. A light year measures the distance light travels in one year, about 588 trillion miles. This vastness stretches across our own Milky Way galaxy, which is just one of billions in the observable universe. We can't see everything due to two key factors. The time it takes for light to travel through space and the universe's ongoing expansion. As galaxies move away from us, their light shifts into longer wavelengths, making some objects too distant for us to detect. Scientists use units like light years to measure these immense distances. Our Milky Way is about 100,000 light years wide, and the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, is 4.24 light years away. Observing galaxies billions of light years away allows us to peer into the past, seeing them as they were billions of years ago. This ongoing expansion also means that our observational limits are constantly being pushed. As the universe's accelerating expansion shapes our understanding, three main theories attempt to explain the extent of the universe. It could be infinite, expanding endlessly. It could be finite, but without a clear edge, like a giant sphere. Or our universe might be just one of many in a multiverse, each with its own physical laws. These theories, while speculative, spark scientific interest and philosophical debate, challenging our understanding of space, limits, and existence. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided crucial insights into the early universe's development, allowing us to observe galaxies formed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These discoveries, along with the potential presence of massive black holes, suggest that the total mass of stars in the universe may be much larger than previously estimated.